I had an opportunity today to meet with a lady named Rose. She is here in Monta. She has a little coffee shop that I want you to know about. The name of her shop is called Happy's Coffee House. It's on Flavio Reyes. You can see here on the map where, where it's located. If you go down, if you go to the back side of the mall, go up to Flavio Reyes, I guess really the best way to say how to get there is you see uh, the big blue hotel at 24th Street and Flavio Reyes, go east on Flavio Reyes, you'll see the Cafe Verde restaurant on the right hand side and then just down the block on the left hand side where you see a yellow awning out over the sidewalk is Rose's coffee shop, coffee house, called Happy's Coffee House. And it's a great little place and when I come back I'm going to share the interview that I did with her today and some pictures that I took. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek, Hello there. So this is a uh, Flavio Reyes here, and there's a Montemar Hotel right there. And if you come around this way, swing around this way. Here is. Happy's Coffee House. You can't miss it. It's the yellow awning. And you can see her sign there. Happy's Coffee House. Good morning. Hey, Don. How's it going? Doing well. How's business? It's there. It's going. It's going. <laughs> Good. Especially, uh, you got one customer, me. Yes, that always makes it a very good day. <laughs> yeah, when did you start this business? This uh, a year and a half ago. Really, that yes. long? During I, the pandemic. I thought you just started. No. That's the worst time in the world to start a business, right in the middle of the pandemic. I know. But you're we still brave. here. We were brave enough to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? I was born in Brooklyn, yeah. New York. Yeah, Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. yeah, so part of my schooling was there. I came here to Ecuador when I was 10. Okay. I studied a couple of years here yeah. uh, for a total of six years, and I went back to the States. Okay, so then when did you come back here? Did, w did you come back here during the pandemic? Uh, right before the pandemic. Right before the it's pandemic. It's been three years since I came back. Okay, yeah. all right. So what gave you the idea of starting this thing? I love coffee. I honestly, I think I, I was the reason why a lot of coffee shops kept open. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I always, you know, loved yeah. coffee and I always thought that I wanted to open up a coffee shop, you know, mm -hmm. do something fun. So what do you serve? Do you have just regular Americano, what's it called, Americano coffee? Mm -hmm. you, I'm sure you make cappuccino. Yes, sir. And then uh, mocha chinos or cafe mocha. Mocha chino, okay. Yes, we have cold drinks, hot drinks. They're okay. all based on the espresso. Okay. The es espresso extraction. Yeah. That, that looks like a very expensive machine. It's a nice machine. It's yeah. <laughs> this, I said expensive, she said it's nice. It's a nice machine. It works nicely. So that means it's very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, that's what it has to do. <laughs> yeah. And then, do you serve any food? Yes. So we do uh, things that will uh, complement your coffee. Drink. Mm -hmm. So I make scones or quiche, okay. uh, pies. They could be savory pies or they could be fruit pies. Okay. So things that will go well with a coffee. Sure. It's not a full dinner or a full lunch. Right. It's like a, a coffee snack or exactly. something. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So somebody told me that you are taking baking classes. I am. Tell me about yeah. that. <laughs> okay. So there's a school called CTS mm -hmm. and uh, they offer different degrees. They have cooking school, they have a baking school, and then they do the administration part. Okay. Uh, I'm doing the baking part of it, the baking school part. All right. And it's a two, two semester program. It's a year. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then we have the basic program and the advanced. And at this point I'm at the, in the advanced uh, program. Okay. Mm -hmm. So my subscribers don't know this, but I've already had two of your dishes. I had your chicken pot pie, and then I had your pasta pie, mm -hmm. which I thought was awesome. I've never seen pasta served up like in a pie, mm -hmm. you know? I'm curious to know how you got it to stay up like that, you know? And I'm sure that that's probably a trade secret, you know? Or, you know. <laughs> well, a lot of the recipes I know, yeah. some, of, some recipes are handed down to me. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, there are things that I look up in the internet and they look 
good. I try it first, and if I like it, then they'll make it here to happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that I can testify unequivocally that the both those dishes I've had are awesome dishes. So, how did you manage to pick this location here? Was this did you already have this place or? Yeah. Or so what? this is a family-owned uh, okay. lot. Okay. Yes, and this is uh, actually my my brother's okay. uh, house. Okay. And then right. this is a new addition. Got it. Yes. Got it. Oh, how come? How lucky for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. You know, that's one thing that I haven't bothered to ask people is what rent prices are like for some of these businesses. I can't imagine. I know that the guys that have the Voyager Hotel that pay an exorbitant amount of money for that property. That property is also very old. And but this being a retail business like that, I'm sure it's probably not as expensive as it is in the United States, you know. Definitely. But I but I don't want to know what you pay, but I I hope I would hope that it's low enough that you're able to be profitable yes. and be able to stay in business. Yeah, you know? because it's family owned and they yeah. give me a break. Okay, good. You know, yeah. So now you're open right now. Right now you're open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Thursday. Yes. And that's it. Okay. And that's it. And on Tuesday mornings, there's a special group of people that come in here. Yes. Tell us about that. Okay, so we have a ladies group that comes here. They meet every Tuesday at 1030. Okay. Yeah, so they made it this like their common meeting place. Yeah. Yeah, so we have them on Tuesdays. And yeah. then yeah, we have the clients coming in, walking in uh, throughout the day. Sure. Mm -hmm. Now, these these are expats? These are expats. Okay. They're uh, American or Canadian or, okay. or different parts. Okay, yeah. all right. Fantastic. So, and I do know that uh, one of my friends actually introduced me to you, Mike, mm -hmm. and we're going to try to help you by eliminating some of the echo that's in this place because I know that when these ladies get in here and everybody's talking, it's pretty hard to hear in here. Yes. And that's just because there's so much tile and concrete and- And glass. And glass, <laughs> yeah. And so we're gonna try to help you with that, you know? And I, I can, speaking to my subscribers now, I can say I have a solution for doing that. And, and what I plan to do is put, you know, styrofoam on the walls and figure out a way to paint it and decorate it, make it look nice. And hopefully that will absorb some of the sound. But if any of my subscribers have a better idea, I want to hear it, you know. And I'm encouraging them to put it down in the description below. So anyway, so I'm going to show this place on Google Map. I'll draw, I'll pull up a map. And I'll show, I'll circle and show exactly where it's at. Because we don't have addresses here. If if I have to tell somebody where Happy's Coffee House is, what do I tell them? Where is it? Well, it's located on Avenida Flavio Reyes. Okay. So that's like the main street. Yes. Avenida Flavio Reyes and then Street 21. Street 21, yeah, okay. Yeah, so 21st Street. Okay, mm -hmm. and you can't miss the yellow awning. You, yes, that's yeah. that's one of the things that I did outside so it can so you can see it a yeah. little bit. Yeah. So it Your shirt visible. is yellow, is this? I love yellow. <laughs> Look at the inside, as you can see. <laughs> that's good. And I wanted to tell you, if you yes. need extra hands, Okay. For the work that you're gonna help me do. Yeah. I Your have husband? My husband is Good. Here. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you <laughs> you've just been volunteered? <laughs> I was waiting for him to come so yeah. he can also yeah. <laughs> pitch in. <laughs> yeah. What a great couple. What a great couple here. So and your name is Marcio. Marcio, yeah. Yeah. And I just <laughs> it's for, for my viewers, I just met him this morning. Mm -hmm. And we had something in common because we're both from Oklahoma. So Yes. A lot of people don't know that I'm actually from Tulsa, Oklahoma. So when you told me that, I was like, "Oh, you'll get along with your husband. He's from Oklahoma." Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. It's been a pleasure meeting you, you, both of you. Thank so you. that was pretty much the end of the interview. I had a good time talking to her and her husband. Rose is super happy. I, I'm not, not going to call her an expat. She, you know, I, even though I mean she's Ecuadorian, and she's from Brooklyn, so, so I guess she's Ecuadorian American you know great personality great person to know super nice let's give her some business let's bring her some business when you just want to go out and you don't want to go out and eat breakfast you just want to go get some coffee and a little snack on tuesday wednesday or thursday mornings she's open so let's stop by and visit with her and say hello so i'll see you on the next one next interview is going to be an interesting one that i haven't talked about so watch for it next week Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao.